True or false? Skipping breakfast will help you lose weight. False. Even though technically fewer calories should equal weight loss, how and where we cut our calories is what really matters. One of the ways that I have maintained a healthy frame is by doing exactly what I'm doing now, never skipping breakfast. You know, in fact, studies have shown that people who have a healthy breakfast will consume fewer calories over the course of the day. There's no meal I look forward to more than I do my breakfast. Breakfast gives us an opportunity to really decide how we want to greet the day. It's an opportunity to, to put our best foot forward in choosing how we want to nourish our bodies and minds. You know, loading up on a sugary breakfast, it sets us up for a pretty hard crash by lunchtime or even before. Before you know it, you're reaching for more sugar and your day becomes you on a sugar hamster wheel. I remember when I was in school, I was a, a young kid, and I noticed that in the mornings when I ate oatmeal, not instant oatmeal, but real old-fashioned oatmeal, I would do better on tests. The days when I ate sugary type cereals, I tended to not be as focused. Of course, I didn't understand why at the time, but I did notice this coincidence. And then later in life, I learned that unlike sugary cereal, Whole grain foods, like oatmeal, provide sustained energy. It's that lasting energy that makes the huge difference in your ability to focus and avoid snacking inappropriately. <laughs> My kids remember me making them oatmeal for breakfast and calling it brain food. Now there are many kinds of oatmeals, yes? You can use any different kinds, but try to stay away from the pre-packaged instant ones because they do tend to be loaded with sugar. I like to use steel-cut oatmeal. See, it looks like this when it's raw. This is instant oatmeal. Look at the difference. This is all flat and rolled out. These are round. This is whole bran. It's got the germ in it. It's complex, it takes about a half hour to cook. So I make enough for four or five mornings, right? Whole lot at once, and then I refrigerate what I don't use. All I have to do is heat it up the next morning. And when you're done, it should look like this. Yum. And I like to experiment, adding seasonal fruits or nuts love to put nuts in my cereal, yummy, and raisins. I don't know, you might want to put a little raw sugar or a little agave, that's a kind of a sweetener that comes from cactus, it's natural, or maple syrup. It tastes so good. Mmm, yummy. Now, Here's another favorite breakfast that I love to make. This is my favorite smoothie. My favorite ex-husband would hear the sound of a blender and he'd say, now that's the sound of a happy woman. <laughs> okay, you can make it with any different kinds of fruits, but what I do is I use a little apple juice, preferably raw, just enough to cover the blades, or you can use water. And then I put in a banana and I like things thick, so I put in a whole banana. I usually make enough for two people and sometimes I, I freeze it. Now, I, here's the protein powder. You can do soy powder, all different kinds of powder, but I took two tablespoons of powder, protein powder, yogurt, Greek yogurt, zero fat, yummy. Helps to make it nice and thick. Now, sometimes I use ice, but what I like to do, what I've done here is frozen fresh peaches. You don't have to buy frozen fruit. Buy fresh fruit and then freeze it. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us a nice, thick, ice creamy milkshake kind of uh, texture to it. And sometimes I add unfrozen, like blueberries or strawberries. See, it's not exactly a science. Sometimes I'll, I'll put a little agave in here. Here we go. Have a bit of a sweet tooth, this is true. Here we go. 
Ready? <laughs> Make sure it's all nice and blended up. My heart is racing already. <gasps> oh, so good. And this is gonna carry me through till lunch. Mm. I cannot tell you how good this is. Salud. Have a good day. <laughs>